Hello, today I will show you how to create welding sim in Autodesk Revit. For that, we will use one of the family that we created before, just to not create the thickness parameter that will be connected to the lookup table. So let's clean this up. Just erase everything that we have here. Go to the left view. And before to create the welding sim itself, let's create a profile for it. Profile will be based on the generic uh, metric profile. Okay. And it will be a very, very simple one. Make it like that, like that like that and like that now we need to equalize it and once it was equalized let's also assign the diameter to it oh, yeah. thickness and this one we also will change to thickness and, and almost that's it I will change it to 10 millimeters and here we will create it let's go after this one It will be a very basic one, so without all minor details, just to make sure that we, in the end, we can estimate the welding seams within the project. If we need to create a, a bit more detailed cost estimate. Then, basically that's it. The profile is ready and we can load it to the family. We will save it as a welding sim profile. And here, the only one thing left, we need to add the sweep item, sketch the path, for example, like that. This one we will change to diameter and we'll assign it to outside diameter, the U. Okay, and now we just need to select profile family. This one we can really delete, but we will do it a bit later. Well, the same profile is already in, and this is it. Here we just need to adjust it for a bit. Okay, let's jump back to it. We need to change the parameter type to type and load it back and here now we will assign thickness to the thickness of the elbow in this case it will be equal to 7.1 and that's it the welding seam is ready almost ready we need to rotate it with 90 degree yes now it is ready okay let's close it and let's load it to the project I completely forgot about one very important thing we need to add also connectors to it so it will be the first connector and then we need also to add second one uh, in advance you can apply it to global just to ensure that it wouldn't be connected to the any kind of default systems within the project and now I just need to change it to change the diameter to the nominal diameter 
that will be assigned to the system and of course in classification also we need to change to global yeah, and the final step will be just to link them which one which one from them will be the primary one it doesn't really matter okay okay it was re reloaded and now we can add it to the routing preferences so once it was added here and installed as a primary the primary means that it's first one in the sequence if you have a multiple multiple of them or multiple flanges for example if you need to use it and now once it will start to root the system uh, for example the end 200 I will start to root it and once the elbow will be added or any other items or any other item for example like T we will see that Walden Sim is appearing maybe one last thing that we need to do here we still need to modify it a bit and add vertical profile offset and in this case we will add additional parameter I will call it thickness each simple CH1 a few moments later CH ok we will divide it by 2 and this offset be equal to this parameter then it will be always the center line of the seam always will be in the middle of the material so I have added it and now we can load it back and that's it as you see now it looks nice and tidy and thank you for watching and see you next time.